You know, I just had a um, big wake-up call recently. As many of you uh, who have been following me, and for those of you who are my subscribers, I'm pretty sure you guys are aware of the fact that I originally wasn't born in the United States. I was actually born in Sudan. And, and I've been keeping up somewhat with what's been happening over there. You know, these are... Uh, there have been a lot of riots going on, especially uh, a lot of protests over the price of bread, and they've been uh, protesting over having freedom, and they want to revolt against the tyrannical regime under the current president known as Omar Bashir. Now, now you see, what I saw recently was that there have been a lot of people in the hospital and thousands of people, or, or maybe even a hundred, uh, died in the hospital within just like within a matter of twenty-four hours. And you know, I mean, this is a country where I mean, there where the doctors are not that efficient, in when it comes to uh, the medical field. And to to make matters worse, another thing is that. In a country like the United States, where you have the right to, uh, of uh, freedom of speech as well as um, the right to peacefully protest, peaceful protests in Sudan have resulted in, in, in a catastrophe. And by catastrophe, I mean getting shot to death. People have already died as a result of peaceful protesting. You can't do that over there, and you can't... Um, uh, protest without getting shot at or without getting without the risk of uh, getting murdered and when I saw this recently it made me realize that you know I'm so glad to have an easy life here in the United States you're allowed to protest under uh, because we have freedom of speech and you're allowed to uh, uh, what's it called uh, have a protest peaceful protest without having to worry about getting shot or killed 24-7. And, you know, nowadays I feel like a lot of Americans are just complaining left and right. Especially from the, the far left. The far left, they seem to complain about everything. And it's, I mean, conservatives, they've been, uh, you know, um, guilty of this as well. But I'm seeing this more from the far left than anyone else. You know... What's actually funny is that, you know, if if you're a middle class, or like these middle class people, I mean, some of them make like $8, $9 an hour, but they complain, so like, oh, we're not making enough money, we want to have $15 an hour. I mean, you hear like these women com and feminists complaining about how come the man gets to, gets, uh, to make a dollar more, gets a uh, dollar more for per paycheck, and we make a dollar less. Or like, you know, 70 cents, uh, how can the man get this to make 70 cents to a dollar more on the paycheck than the woman does and what have you. And, and all these things about like, and I feel like the liberals and uh, the, the far left, they seem to complain about everything. And I feel like a lot of Americans, they just complain about everything. And to be honest with you, I don't think us Americans realize how good we have it here in this country. I mean, you're living. I mean, there around the world, uh, you have people who are dying because they're peacefully protesting, and people that can't even good, uh, don't even. Some countries don't even have health care. In some countries, health care doesn't even exist, and you, they can't even get access to food and water. And here in America, like, I mean, are there problems in this country? I'm not denying that, but. But when you stop to think about it, like a lot of Americans, from what I've been saying, they complain about the little things. And looking back on it, I may be an immigrant of uh, Muslim, uh, uh, with Muslim roots. I mean, I may be a Muslim immigrant who came to this country uh, as a child. But looking back on it, I'm glad to be here in this country. Life is great. I mean, I, I love the United States of America and my life here is great. I love my life here. I've always been happy here in the, in the U.S. 
And I think it's good to like, you gotta count your lucky stars as far as realizing how good you have it. Some countries don't even, some people in other countries don't even have a roof over their head. I mean, you can't even peacefully protest, otherwise you'll die. Or you, you'll get shot at by like members of the government or the military police over there. And, you know, where you're, you're, some people live in countries where you're not even allowed to have a voice because freedom of speech doesn't exist. But, you know, there are a lot of unconstitutional things here in the United States, but let's not forget something. As far as I'm concerned, there are a lot of freedoms that you can take, uh, that you can, that you could take, that you can uh, make use of and use to your advantage. And, and honestly, I feel like, especially from the far left, they're just complaining about things that really shouldn't have been an issue in the first place. Really, it, it really shouldn't have been. And to be honest with you, I mean, I'm not saying this country is perfect or whatever. And I mean, every country has problems. No, no country is perfect. But one thing I will say is this. Uh, I am, uh, I, I, I have been blessed to live a great life. I mean, I'm a proud Muslim, but I'm also a proud American. I've had a great life here, and I don't think I would ever want to change it for the world. I'm very happy with what I have. But here's my message to all the other Americans out there. Whatever you complain about, you should count your lucky stars and look at the good things that you already have. Instead of, you know, just complaining about the small things all the time, especially when it comes to my... Uh, my generation of millennials, they can't, they seem to complain about every little thing. And this is very, un this is very unfair because, you know, things could be worse, but you're complaining and complaining, you still, you still uh, uh, demand more and more, and it shouldn't be like that. So count your lucky stars, or if, or better yet, maybe you should thank God for uh, how easy you've got it here compared to any other country. Because things could be much, much worse. Thank you for listening to this.